Hey guys, welcome to Jay Plays I Am Iceman, and welcome to part two in my playthrough of uh, UNN Polaris by Christine for System Shock 2. Okay, stop for a moment and listen. We have to assume something has gone terribly wrong in the maximum security area of the research laboratory. Fortunately, explosive charges for possible emergencies were installed during the building of this wing. I'm going to explain to you how to trigger the self-destruct. There are free blast devices in the maximum security area. You need the access codes to get in, and then you need the activation cards to arm the devices. When all three devices have been activated, you can trigger the self-destruct via the remote control room from a panel in the research area. The access codes were transmitted to free officers and the activation cards were given to free scientists. Commander Kingsley has a control card for the ignition. Find the free codes and the four cards. The voice acting in this is definitely improved as it goes along. That guy um, does pretty good Overall, he's been doing that voice was definitely in all, I mean, the previous two parts. He does talk a bit nasally, no offense to the guy. But, yeah, pretty good. I haven't heard any in this one that sounded pretty bad, from what I can recall. Not to say that we won't come across any that are bad. Don't you think you're starting to overdo the safety precautions? Why do we need an access card for the swimming pool? And why haven't I got one? So, uh, which members are the lucky ones that got a card? I at least need to know who I need to hit on. Or am I supposed to run outside and jump into the frosty river? <sighs> Soon you'll lock up the ice cream parlor and the snack bar with coats. Like I was saying, I jinxed it. That one could have been recorded a bit more clearly. Something. I'm sorry. Your flesh will welcome us. Hurry. Run. As ordered, I replaced that regular ice cream with your new type. So far, 14 crew members have eaten it. They believe it to be a new brand and all agree that the new ice cream is much tastier. However, six crew members experienced odd side effects. Four got a strange rash. Their skin somehow began to shimmer and then became transparent. Two members started craving cigarettes, but they didn't start to smoke them. They ate them, much to the amusement of their friends. Dr. McClure, I know this is a secret research project, but what the heck is in this ice cream? Anyway, it's very handy that the ice cream doesn't need to be kept cold and doesn't melt. Remember the thing about the, the ice cream. Many things to us. Yes, we know. Yeah, I, I remember the whole thing with the ice cream and in this one. I quite like that idea. I um used a similarish idea with my um fan uh, well, basically fan mission for um uh, Shadowrun Returns. In the case of that one, I had a like a nano machine virus that was within food. Access needed.
Breakable, unbreakable window. This game, if you go on a diagonal angle, you go faster. You see how fast I'm going now? Then I go diagonal. Why that equals you going faster is beyond me. But that's just the quirks of the engine, I guess.
Replicator Ranger was selection. successfully reorganized. Thank you for choosing Value Wrap. Absolutely cannot stand those things in real life. Love banana banana flavor, which is weird, but I hate bananas. Up, but you're not the only one with a rash. I feel like one of those ice beasts. I propose we go out for another ice cream tomorrow, and this time I'm gonna sort out that slimy Avery. Who knows what he and his buddy McClure have been up to? Those two are always together lately. I didn't volunteer to be a lab rat. That's what they have the probands in the labs for.
there is no way I'm throwing that away. This um, fan mission came out. He'd be all grown up now. got new dark. So I guess anything's possible. crashed into a bush. Or is it a jeep surrounded by water? Hmm. Commander, some old eggs have suddenly appeared in the crew garden. Where did they come from? Is this one of Professor Grimm's weird experiments? Well, he can't use my crew garden, and I won't clean them up. Please have these things removed from our garden and tell those researchers that in the future they should keep the stupid research projects in their labs.
those, I don't know how those think, it's quite easy to um, outthink them. As long as you don't have like an open area to go through. Note to self, the code for Blast Device 1 in the maximum security area is 32447. Such a needless silly safety precaution, as if we'd ever blow up this sinfully expensive wing. Doom, he would have been gibbed by, by that. Perhaps I'm not trained to use a microscope, but I am trained to use an assault trifle. Believe me, if those eggs aren't removed from the crew garden before this evening, I'm going to prove how well trained I am. I trust I've made myself clear.
So of course he can go inside a couch, but I can't. easy to lose track of where you're up to. A lot of these rooms look exactly the same. Is there another? We do not my attention that lately you've been disregarding the safety regulations more and more often. Or perhaps you have another explanation for the sudden appearance of the huge eggs in the crew garden. See that they are returned to the maximum security area right away where they apparently came from. Limit your experiments to your lab. It will not tolerate further breaches of security. And while we're at it, keep your hands off my rubber ducky. Let's uh, put it this way. 
The swimming pool has been closed due to chronic overcrowding. Only officers and the leaders of the research team get access cards. As far as I'm concerned, you can jump in the river, if you like. Access to the pool is limited to high-ranking personnel until further notice. I don't need to remind you of your rank again, do I? Power corrupts everyone. The code for Blast Device 3 in the maximum security area is 48593. What a stupid number, nobody can remember it.
Now that's a great movie. sure I got everything done. I'll bet you I missed something. Especially in that last area that I was in before here. Not the water bit but before that. Because there's just so much stuff in there it's so easy to just miss a room. Make your selection. Hurry, run. Thank, you, thank you for choosing value wrap.
I've had a really nasty rash since we ate that new ice cream yesterday. I don't dare leave my quarters. My skin glistens like ice and is nearly all transparent. I never had anything like this happen before. Is there something wrong with Avery's new ice cream? Or do you have any other idea about what might have caused my rash? Alright, um, I'm gonna finish part two there. I'll get on to part three very shortly. So until then, this is Iceman Iceman Santa signing off. Have a good one. <laughs>